Hello VR shoppers and welcome to the VR shops review of the Bobo Z5. For detailed information and buying links please do visit the website link in the description box below. But for a quick hands on review and unboxing just keep watching. Please note before I start unboxing this that you might not necessarily get what you're about to see because some uh, dispatchers do put extra things or sometimes take things out. But in ours, we got a little uh, Bluetooth clicker. Sadly, our little Bluetooth clicker here only works with Chinese apps uh, and apps and games that you can get access to in a QR code that is uh, in the box. Sadly, it doesn't work with normal apps and it doesn't control the volume neither. That's all done on the headset, which is a bit of a shame. But still, moving on. A USB to micro USB uh, adapter. You also get a micro USB to micro USB lead so you can charge up your phone from it or you can charge up the controller from it, obviously. Uh, the rest might, you might not get, but we got a uh, microfiber cloth. It wasn't branded in any way with anything Bobo related, but it's still nice to have it. Uh, some sort of business card, we got that. I thought I'd include it, show you what else we got. Now, the QR code that you get does just go to uh, the official uh, Bofing made Mojing uh, app, which does uh, allow you to play a couple of games and things like that. But again, it is all in Chinese, so it's up to you if you want to go there. I can't suggest it myself because I don't read Chinese. And finally, we get an instruction booklet. Inside the instruction booklet, sadly, it is all in Chinese, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, and that is about it. It really doesn't say anything extra. Uh, it does talk uh, more about the uh, Daydream controller. Obviously, we haven't got the Daydream version. There is two of them. And that is all you get. And of course, the headset. Don't need me to tell you. So let's get into it. Find out what this headset can do. Getting in some measurements, you've got the perfect uh, phone size, which is six inch, round about five inch bare minimum, just to cover the lenses. On the sides, you have independently adjustable pupil distance, which is here. And you just dial the knobs and they go in and out. Not too much uh, distance, but hey, at least it's got it. And then up here, you have adjustable focus distance again not independent but at least it's got it i suppose that's something turning it around to the side you do have some control buttons located on the left earphone just on the side for volume up and down and pause if you're watching a movie looking at nose room you get about two inches uh width so pretty good about five centimeters all the way down to about oh, about an inch, inch and a half nose right at the bottom. So quite good nose room to be honest. And it's all padded in there anyway. So, you know, you can't moan about that. Flipping it down onto its front, I can show you the adjustable head strap. And you literally pull the knobs out of the side and turn it. To be honest, I found it quite comfortable. And it's well padded all throughout in the front and the back, which is quite nice. Uh, this power button on the back, I'm just not sure what it does at all. I, it just doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe I'm missing the point a bit. And inside, you do have six inches for glasses. And like I say, about five and a half, six inches between the, head, the earphones. So not too bad. Uh, about average head size, I think. I don't know if it's too big or too small. Let's get on to one little niggle part here, uh, which is the earphone jack which is just located on the front flat, which is quite a nice touch. Uh, but as you can see, there are rubber things either way, just to uh, prevent them from rubbing against your phone when it's, not, when it's not in there, I suppose. And you just pull the jack out like that, and it 
just kind of hangs in the middle. Uh, there's also some rubber strips going down the sides, nice and felt. So to be honest, it does keep your phone safe. And the earphone jack go in there, and you can put it into the left, and you can put it into the right. Quite a bit of room. If you want to tuck it away, you just got to put it downwards, pointing down, and push it in. There we go. Simple as that, and it all tucks away neatly in there. Okay, let's wrap this video up with my final thoughts. Okay, here we are, and this is what I actually think about the Bobo Z5. Um, to be honest, it's quite well made, and it feels an awful lot lighter than the Bobo Z4. It really does. Just better overall, better lenses, better FOV. Uh, I'm going to dare to say better earphones, you know, at least in terms of shape. Uh, it's just better overall. I don't think it's, you know, as good uh, as as many of the other headsets that we have reviewed, like uh, Hamido V2 and uh, the Bofing S1. Headsets like that, I just, it's just not up to that par. The view uh, that you get from it, I, I just, I don't know. I wasn't too impressed with it. I really wasn't. It was a bit dark, a little bit faded. It just wasn't as crisp as the original, um, as the original Z4. Haven't said that. The FOV is much bigger. I mean, the FOV on the Z5 is roundabout 100. I don't think it's quite 110, but you know, 10 degrees it's, it's not worth niggling about so i reckon they're pretty much on the money it, it just it didn't sit that well with me it really didn't I, I just was not impressed with the lenses at all impressed with um the immersion that you can get in it all the nice extra padding the deeper sides uh can create a very immersive atmosphere inside whatever app that you're going to be playing which is really good but you know it's it's like a, it's been a trade-off for clarity <laughs> so you've got like a, a longer sides to get deeper immersion a trade-off of clarity was it worth it it's a hard choice isn't it i mean you could say yeah i want a much clearer view than that because we've seen amazing headsets like thing Moji S1 you know I know the problem is I know that there's better out there but I really like it you know it's um now that this is out I definitely wouldn't recommend buying a Z4 I mean it's just there's no competition between this and a Z4 there really isn't it's it's far superior in every way but is it far superior than the S1? No, it's, it's, not, it's not even close to that. But does it make it into our top 10? Yeah, I believe it does. I really do. Uh, I think it sits uh, just above the Bobo Z4 in our top 10, just because it is better, but it's not better than, like I say, many of the others that are available. If you're after an all-in-one with built-in earphones, this is definitely the way to go. Fancy winning some cool VR tech just like what you've just seen? All you have to do is sign up to our weekly newsletter. At the bottom of this video, just click on this link here. You'll go to this page, put your email in, click subscribe, and confirm you're not a robot. Unless you are a robot, and then you don't have to confirm it. And while it's not necessary to win, I will ask, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.